more to it. Now, one is a clap, two is a knee bob. Okay. Okay? Three. at another human being. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you think seventh graders will go through a whole day, well, a lot of adults too, yeah. rather than stopping and actually, wow, there's a person there and I'm going to actually take a moment and look at her. So, yeah. And I think it kind of puts everybody on the same playing field. I think we all feel kind of silly going, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes us all equals in terms of we're all kind of in this new right. activity doing something right. that we probably wouldn't normally walk up to somebody and do. Right, 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 right. And it's about being vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just the sounds in the room, the dynamic changed so much that um, laughter just erupts, you know, all of a sudden. Um, why do you think I ask you to bow when you make a mistake? What do you think that's about? Because it's okay to make a mistake. It, 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 it sort of puts that idea out there that this is the, and I watch this with kids, with kids, they're like, oh, this is going to be a little bit different, because I'm getting 
getting, because it really does feel good to be applauded, no matter what, and it, you begin to realize, oh, this is a place where I'm gonna get, you know, applause if I'm tipped off balance, because that's one thing that I think is important that it's when you're off balance that you are really being creative and make discoveries. Um, so, and this is something that we can touch on again. Say we're doing another activity. Remember when we did the one, two, three? This is the same kind of thing. It's okay that this experiment didn't work out or that you're struggling with writing. Take a bow even though you're feeling, you know, like this just isn't happening the way you hoped it would. So it becomes something we can touch on as a community. Um, so we're going to move on to our next game called Group Juggling. And here's how you play. So we're going to create a pattern with the balls. And the pattern will never change. Okay? I'm going to look at a friend in the circle. And I'm going to say her name. And then toss the ball underhanded to her. Okay, underhanded, very gently. And it'll go like this, Barbara. And then Barbara, you'll look at a friend and say her name, and then toss it underhanded. Jen, remember who you threw to? Katie. to nail their <laughs> friends yeah. on the ball. Yeah. And at some point, I just say, drop the balls, drop them where they are, and then we, we talk about it a little bit. Well, why were we not successful? Well, okay. <laughs> and then we get to the point where, well, what if we try listening? Or what if we try this, that, and the other? And they come up with some strategies. And then so the next time we do it, I say, okay, this time I, I'm going to take away your voices. You cannot make a sound. And oftentimes they'll be like, no way. <laughs> we can't do that. And I say, well, let's just see what happens. So the pattern is the same, but you may not say anyone's name and you may not make a sound. Let's see how we do. 